Homophones and homonyms in poetry and literature, exploring language through creative works. Hello, word explorers. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we are diving deep into the wonderful world of homophones and homonyms in poetry and literature. We'll see how writers use these fascinating language quirks to add depth, humor, and complexity to their work. Let's start the journey. When we read poetry or prose, we often find words that sound alike or even identical but have different meanings. These are homophones, words with the same pronunciation but different meanings, and homonyms, words that are spelled and pronounced the same but have different meanings. Writers often use these words to create layers of meaning, wordplay, and poetic beauty. An example of a homophone in literature is the pair, sweet, and sweet. Consider this sentence, the hotel suite was as sweet as honey. Homonyms, on the other hand, can be seen in this sentence, the bandage was wound around the wound. Now let's take a look at how poets use homophones and homonyms. They often use these tools to create a play on words, also known as puns, or to add rhythmic and sonic beauty to their poems. Let's look at this verse from the poem, Thou Art Indeed Just, Lord, by Gerard Manley Hopkins. Worse, post, worse, but this worse, leaves me worse off. Here, Hopkins has used the homonym, worse, to express the intensity of his despair. It's spelled the same and sounds the same, but each, worse, has a subtly different meaning and context. In prose, writers often use homophones and homonyms to create clever wordplay and add layers of meaning. For instance, consider this sentence from Oscar Wilde's, The Importance of Being Earnest. I'll rise, but I won't shine. Here, Wilde used the homophone pair, rise, and shine, to add a humorous twist. Normally, we use the phrase, rise and shine, to encourage someone to wake up cheerfully. But Wilde flips it to create humor and show the character's reluctance to get up early. So there you have it. We've taken a look at how homophones and homonyms add depth, humor, and complexity to literature. As you read more in English, try to spot these language gems. They'll not only enrich your understanding of the text but also bring a smile to your face with their clever play on words. Until next time, keep exploring and enjoying the intricacies of the English language. Happy learning!